sensory meridian response and for those who need the help. So with that being said, today's video, let's jump right into it. You are here for your EMDR therapy session. So have you ever had this done before? Sure, I know we worked on plenty of things together, but EMDR stands for Eye Movement Desensitization and Reprocessing, and essentially I am going to be doing um, a few bilateral stimulations with both of my hands with rapid eye movement. I'm going to be going very quickly, making tapping and visual stimulation, and we're going to be reprocessing trauma in the brain. So let's hop right into it. There's a lot to explain, but there are eight steps in EMDR, which is getting the history of a patient all the way up to doing a body scan. We are only going to be doing a few of those steps today. Why don't we go ahead and go over your chart, write a few things in, kind of get into it, and let's get you processed. Okay. Again, a lot of this is for
first is just go ahead and do a little bit of assessment. Check your skin, check your face, how your face reacts to things. I do have a pin light. Um, I have a subtle one and a bright one. We're just going to see how your pupils react. But why don't we just start by the assessment? I'm just going to come up close and just go. you gently. Can you look right here? Good. Can you look right here? Very good. Can you look right here? Good. What about right here? Very good. And right here. Very good. Can you look over here? Right here. Excellent. Thank you. I just wanted to put in that trick question to see how well you are paying attention and how we can work with that. If not, it's no problem. There is no pass or fail on this test. Now we're going to come in and do a little bit of more strong suit. This light is bright, so a little uh, forewarning before I use it. I'm just going to go ahead tell you to follow the light here, okay? So, I'm just gonna come in. I'm gonna have you follow this light with your eyes. This light is a little bit bright, so here we go. Let's go ahead and follow the light. Good. Very good. Slowly back and forth. Okay. Can you look up here to the light? Thank you. And right here. Good. What about right there? I need you to follow very quickly. Follow the light. Okay. Very good. Keep following. Excellent. Okay. All right. And last but not least, we're going to do a little reflex test. What I have here is actually used um, for uh, acupressure, things like that, pressing and different to see how people react and for other therapy, but I'm just going to simply place it on like under your jaw, things like that, around the 
let me know and see how you feel. So I'm just gonna get close to you and kind of do a little bit of bow. Again, this is simply relaxation. This is not EMDR whatsoever. It's just leading into the gentleness of this therapy as this is not real or much different from my prior EMDR videos. I do also have to warn you that I do have what's called Graves' disease, therefore you might see this eye droop just a little bit during our session today, which is completely okay. Okay, so you have absolutely passed this, so why don't we go ahead and start getting into the therapy itself. Again, there is plenty of steps used with EMDR. It takes one to two hours to do this. Uh, again, we have the history of the client, the assessment, the desensitization, the installation of the EMDR, the body scan, the closure, and then the reevaluation, which is coming back to it, talking about it, seeing how you feel. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you focus for a moment. Just go ahead and take a few deep breaths. We can do in and out. Again, in. And out. And on the third inhalation, I'm going to ask you to think of something traumatic. Now, you can follow along with this, um, with not thinking of anything traumatic as all, at all. Or you can focus and participate. There is no right or wrong to this, but I am going to ask you to think of a traumatic event that you think about often that can pop up in your dreams that can cause you a lot of emotional response. Some people laugh in the response of trauma, some people cry, but I do need you to find an event that correlates with those emotions, and I'm going to have you think about it as we take our last inhalation, and don't worry, this wasn't a repetitive thing, so hopefully you're not holding your breath. So we're going to take an inhale, and as you inhale, I want you to think about that event and just kind of replay it in your mind. So we're going to take this very slowly. So inhale and consider this event that we're going to be working on today. Hold. Now exhale. Very good. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is we're going to get into the therapy. We're going to start with just a little bit of repetitive movement, which is the EMDR itself. Now, there are different um, EMDR therapists that do positive reinforcement verbally, or they will do it afterwards in the reassessment, things like that. But again, what EMDR does is whenever I'm having you make rapid eye movements following my hand, your brain is taking in so much information at once, it ultimately forgets everything that is going on in regards to while you have that traumatic event in your mind, in your short-term memory, me doing these movements and uh, audible sounds are what's going to make you forget. And then in turn, we can replace it with positive reinforcement and things like that. We can do that now or later, and I'm going to work on doing it now. So. Right now, we're going to go ahead and get into the therapy itself, the EMDR. I'm going to have you take that traumatic situation. Um, I know it is tough and difficult. Take all the time you need. You can pause this, simmer with it, sit with it, go get a drink, go get a snack. You can even go to sleep and revisit this later. But the idea is I do need you to revisit this. And while I do these sounds and visuals, I'm going to have you just think about it and focus on me, okay? We're going to work on this for a while, so we're going to do one and the other and one and the other. Hand movements. Whispering, 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 repetitive. Follow me, follow me, focus. And then we're going to take a moment and so on and so forth, okay? So again, last warning you can take a break. If this is not your forte, like if you are not open to revisiting trauma, it is completely okay. I have over a thousand other videos to relax you and help you, but again, this is for your relaxation and healing and 
for me to be there for you. So, again, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to have you pick a, again, traumatic situation that has been affecting you daily or something that causes a severe emotional response. Something that you don't mind sitting with while we do our reprocessing. So, from here on out, just go ahead and try to keep that in your mind. Play it back in your mind, and I'm just going to go ahead and begin with a little bit of sound. Can you replay this unfortunate memory in your mind and does it cause? 
cause emotion in you? Does it cause a response? Go ahead. Keep this memory in your mind. I want you to go ahead and follow this light, this bright light. Can you go ahead and verbally tell the situation, this unfortunate, tragic problem, this issue that you've been facing for so long, the one that you are growing from and learning from and just overall succeeding from? Can you follow this light? I want you to follow the light. Can you play this tra traumatic situation in your mind while you follow this light? Can you go ahead and follow this light? I know it is quick. when I am not giving instruction, follow directly in my nose. Can you recant this memory? Directly in my nose. Close and far. Close and far. Close and far. Close and far. Can you recant that memory and follow my fingers? Look right here. Look right here. We're gonna stop focusing on that memory.
relaxation.
uses a lot. So, what I'm going to do now is kind of have a post.
session.